Jamie and Noma, good morning. Hi, well, thanks very much. Bravo. Hello, Tom. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many awards. So, yes. so many awards. Good morning. So, um, I think all reviews should be read in that voice. Thank you. So a lot of this is shrouded in secrecy, yeah. but tell us about Harry, where this starts off. Well, like you say, I mean, we pick out from the end of the book. So uh, they're, they're parents now. We're all parents. We're packing our kids off, off to Hogwarts, and it's sort of next generation of adventures. But um, the, if the books are about coming of age and coming into your own as a person, then the next thing is about how to become a parent when nobody's ever really taught you how. Right. Yes. And sort of living up to his father's reputation and expectations. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And he, you know, he, he, Harry's nearly twice the age that his father ever made it to mm -hmm. in this play. So, you know, with, a, with no role models Flying and the, wings, everybody yeah. keeps dying on him. So. Mm -hmm. You know, how does he do it? Noma, your casting was a big surprise for a lot of people. Why was said. that, Gail? Why yeah. was that? <laughs> well, they said, she's a person of color. People were get, clutching their pearls when they found out that you were cast. How sweet <laughs> is that? I know. And how did you handle that? And what did you think? Because um, you were a diehard Harry Potter fan. Yes. So you knew absolutely all the story Harry and all the fan. characters. My joy is, and that's the only way I could get to explain it, is when John Tiffany and Sonia Friedman said, we'd love you to do this part, I was like, that's amazing because I've had the most extraordinary time in the workshops yeah. and the group of actors that I got to meet. And I'm, I, I, there are a few of us from the workshop. Jamie and Matt later on. on the, I'm, I'm late to the party. Late yeah. to the party. Yeah. But we'd worked with each other but 10 years before. But you are Harry Potter. But yeah. he yeah. is Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a joyous thing. I happen to be, I love the work that I do. I'm a woman of colour and I got the job. And it's, that's the biggest privilege I could have. How other people dealt with it yeah. is other people's stuff. Yeah. But as my friend Justin said, no ma. You could have been awful. Yeah. You could have been awful. <laughs> yes, and she's really building you, you up there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you can go, that's reality. Yeah. Let's just do the work. And it's a joyous thing. And it's 2018. And it's 2018. Yeah. And yeah. yes, and my child is growing up going, thank you, you get to play Hermione. And yes. I love the films yeah. and I love the stories. So we're just doing our jobs. Yeah. Jamie, and, and thanks for being here on your day off, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah. Jamie, let me ask you, is it, you're both stepping into roles people have all of these notions about. What's sure. that like? Um, uh, well, I mean, I can only think of one other example where you get seven volumes of backstory before you come yeah, on stage with you and you know people don't know Richard III as well as they know Harry the Potter. Harry the Potter? Harry yeah. the Potter. <laughs> it's going to be Harry the Potter from now on. Potter um, Harry, yeah. So I mean the, 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 the main thing is just kind of the blueprint is there and just get out of the way because when do you ever have an audience that's this big yeah. and this hungry to make this sort of theatrical reality take flight and they come in their imaginations are ready to go and they're prepped so absolutely prepped yeah, yeah i just kind of kind of try and step out of the yeah. way of it to be honest it is amazing it. what happens on the stage though it's i mean good, it? it's the type of thing that i wish yeah. i had a rewind button so i could say how did they do that <laughs> yeah. but it's interesting that the audience are keeping the secrets yeah. why do you think that you people said are a, doing that a yeah. lovely version of that is because you kind of go why would you be cruel to somebody else you've yeah. said that. Yeah, Why yeah. would you support mm. someone else's fun? Because right. people are yeah. mean, no man. Yeah. People are mean. Yeah. They this one, they've been lovely. But they aren't. But, 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 but look, I mean, isn't isn't doesn't that give you hope? I mean, you you've got you've had Elizabeth so Warren true. here on, on here this morning, <laughs> and we're talking about the best-selling literary series ever written. It, you know, wow. the, the, so apparently, when it comes to literary series, more than anything else in the world, human beings want to read this story, which fundamentally has yeah. kindness at, its, at the heart of yes. its narrative. Oh, I like Very that. Well that, said, that gives me a lot of hope, because yeah. it's our narratives and our fictions that allow us to build the institutions by which we can cooperate in gigantic yeah. numbers. Very well and if you've yeah, got yeah. a narrative like that at the heart of it, led by, you know, whoever, then, well, then, then that gives us a lot of hope. Jamie Parker, 2020. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We were the place. Pleasure. Thank you. Harry Potter, Cursed Child, playing now. The Lyric Theater in New York.